Kyle Fuller has just restructured his contract to create $6 million of cap space for the Bears in the upcoming season. What is up guys, I'm back with another Bears news video. This time I got an accounting slash business type of video because I'll be talking about strictly numbers in this. Um, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, you know, stick around for this video. Subscribe for more Bears news if you like this kind of stuff. But guys, the Bears were going to be struggling to find cap space this entire offseason, but a move like this actually helps a lot, guys. Kyle Fuller and the Chicago Bears have renegotiated their contract uh, to add actually two voidable years to the end of the contract. So that means if Kyle Fuller is with us beyond 2021, it's not going to be under the terms of his current deal. So pretty much the way a voidable contract works is that instead of paying a player in just strictly salary, you're going to convert a large portion of their salary into a bonus that's going to reduce their salary cap hit. It's going to be more split evenly, so you're going to be paying, you know, it's going to be like a prorated basis that you pay um, every single year instead of just, you know, paying the salary numbers that were originally scheduled to be paid every single year. So what that pretty much means is that um, Kyle Fuller, he was set to earn $13 million in 2020 with a salary cap hit of $17.5 million, but now under this renegotiated deal, he's going to have a base salary of $4.5 million for 2020, and that lowers his salary cap hit to $11.5 million. And like I mentioned, that creates $6 million in cap savings for this upcoming season, which is huge, guys. $6 million is a big amount. So that's really going to help us sign maybe that extra player we need on the offensive line or another receiver, another tight end. So I really like that we did negotiate this, or sorry, renegotiate this, because it's going to help us out this offseason. Currently, the Bears have roughly $16 million in cap space for this upcoming 2020 season. Now, they're probably going to get a lot more when they do release certain players that I think they are going to release but um, that's going to be a video for a separate day. I will be coming out with a lot of these free agency prediction videos on um, what I think the Bears should do with their current cap space, how I think we should you know acquire more cap space. I mean it's going to be a lot of business stuff so I'm actually a finance and accounting major so this is the stuff I really like so that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. As always leave your comments down below but bear down. Yeah.